Welcome to This Week in Anime History, where we talk about some things that happened that this week in anime history. Um, <laughs> let us go back, way back, to 1970. Ooh. In March of 1970. You guys familiar with Ashida no Joe or Tomorrow's Joe? Yes, yes, yeah. very much so. Boxing uh, story. Um, a character in the manga passed away. Oh, Yes. That's right. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, so, yeah. as a result, <clears throat> 700 people participated in a mock funeral on the streets of Japan, presided over by a Buddhist priest, to commemorate the passing of a character in manga. In case you ever wondered if anime and manga were ever super popular in Japan, yes, they were. Uh, that was absolutely a thing that happened. Um, Otakus of the 70s. Go, kids, go. Yeah, exactly. It, it mattered to them. Right. Um, zooming forward, 1985. You may have heard of this little thing called Gundam. Well, I believe it served slightly. What? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. What was it? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Gundam. Uh, it's a magical girl series with a five. Anyway. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, 1985 saw the premiere of Zeta Gundam, the second uh -huh. Gundam TV series, which is remarkable for the fact that it is a full 50 episode sequel series. To the original Gundam, which was not a thing that happened back then. You did not yeah. get a second season. You know, you were basically one and done back in the day. So the fact that Gundam got a full 50 episode sequel uh, uh, told people, oh, this has legs. This is probably going to be, this is probably going to go somewhere. Yeah, 50 Little episodes. Gundam. Wow. 50 episode sequel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the fact that the original series was cut short. And then they're like, yeah. you know, you get the full, you'll, you'll, you'll be fine. And it was pretty good. Um, and then, interestingly, two days later in America, a little series called Robotech would premiere on television. Yes. Yeah. There it is. Robotech, right, right, right there. Um, which would change the face of American anime fandom. Uh, until that point, there were certainly anime fans in America, uh, but they were you know, kind of scattered. There was there was um, there was some a little bit of convention action going on, but very very small. Yeah. And Robotech just massively it basically created American anime fandom um, as a as a force. And so you know, tip of the hat to unite to Robotech exactly. Tip of the hat to Robotech. And then jumping forward another fifteen years uh, and two days to the year two thousand, when uh, on Cartoon Network near Toonami Block. They premiered a little show called New Mobile Report Gundam Wing. Yep. Um, the first Gundam to air in America, um, which I remember them them uh, uh, pointing out that this was the the new this, this was the hot new Gundam uh, over in in Japan, in, in Japan that we were finally getting this uh, this this Gundam, which was completely wrong. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> technically true in the sense that. Uh, um, um, it was one of the big new Gundam series. Um, uh, and it was probably the most popular one of, of recent years, but there have been a lot of Gundams since Gundam Wing, but okay. Um, but yeah, that was a, that was a thing, and uh, as I think we all know, Gundam Wing was... Uh, pretty Boys Gundam. with Gundams. Yeah, Pretty Boys with Gundams, exactly. And folks, uh, folks kind of liked that show. Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. They were entertained slightly. Entertained slightly, <laughs> yes. That is This Week in Anime History. See you next week.